Hi everyone, and welcome back to another information technology lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at an introduction to problem solving. Our objectives for this lesson are to define a problem, list the steps involved in problem solving, decompose a problem into its significant components, create steps to solving simple real world problems. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little cartoon. In a lot of parts of the lesson, we will be looking at what or how that cartoon will impact the problem solving process. Now, what is a problem? And a problem is simply, what, or what is problem solving rather? Problem, this is really the process by which we find solutions to our everyday problems. Now, what exactly is a problem? Your problem is pretty much any task which requires a solution to give a desired outcome. The problem may be simple or it could be complex. Now, in order for you to arrive at a solution, there are some things that we must do. We must have a clear understanding of the problem. So if you don't know what the problem is, how can you solve it? Determine the resources that you're going to need to solve the problem. So you must come up with those things that you're going to need to put together to find a solution to the problem. You're going to also need to have an idea of what the desired results are. Because if you don't know what the desired results are, then how can you come up with the resources that you're going to need? You need to also consider the methods we can use to achieve the desired result. And then lastly, you're going to choose the best option. Here are five steps to problem solving. The first thing we need to do is to define or identify the problem. And going back to the cartoon that we watched a while ago with Hunter and Eve, we recognize that Hunter realized his problem was it was raining, the creek was flooded, and he couldn't get across the creek. So his challenge was he could not get across the creek. The next step is to propose and evaluate solutions. When we talk about proposing, we are talking about coming up with possible solutions. When we talk about evaluating, we're talking about assessing those solutions that you have proposed. So going back to the cartoon, Hunter proposed five solutions. He proposed flying over the creek, so he wanted Eve to fly him over, but when that solution was evaluated, Eve said that she didn't fly very well in the rain, so he thought about building a raft, and as he evaluated it, he thought that perhaps the raft would hit in the rocks and break apart. Three, he thought about jumping over the creek, but when he evaluated that one, he recognized that he could have fallen short and fallen into the river. And his mother always told him not to swim in rushing water. Four, he thought about cutting down a tree to make a bridge. But as he evaluated that one, he recognized too that that tree could fall on him and kill him. Five, he thought about, this was the last one though, he thought about giving up. And then his friend encouraged him not to give up. And he eventually thought of the beaver bridge that was built further up the creek. Though it would take him a longer time to get to school, it would be safer and he would be able to get to school on time. Now, let us consider some problems to solve. Think about getting to school, wherever you're getting to school from. Getting your laundry done or mixing a jug of lemonade. No. It doesn't matter where you're getting to school from. I have Spanish town here. You know the problem is getting to school. It's not just getting to school, but also thinking about, no, what are your possible solutions to getting to school? You, th you have to think about, okay, how am I going to get there? Am I going to get there by bus, taxi? When students are asked, they give some Crazy solutions, but possibly depending on where you are. You could walk, you could ride a bike, you could get a lift from a personal chauffeur, or your mother or father may take you. 
Some persons have money like that, so they can take an airplane. But whatever your possible solutions are, you would now have to evaluate them. A student in Ethiopia, in the desert area, would not be able to have a car to take him or her to school. Chances are they will need to walk. But a child living in a developed area will have the option of a bus or a taxi. And then the choice will be dependent on the cost. So if I look at where I'm living, if I'm taking it from a Spanish town perspective, students can either take a taxi or a bus. And then if you evaluate those, it would depend on what time it is and what time you need to get to school. And also how much money you have, because if you don't have the money to pay the taxi fare, then you must take the bus. So in, in evaluating the possible solutions, you need to determine uh, in this case, how much money you have, what time it is, and okay, whether or not it's possible to take a bus or a taxi. So you're gonna choose whether it's a bus or a taxi. Then now, you're going to go ahead and you're going to, so you've chosen the best solution. So I've decided I'm gonna take the bus because I feel it is safe and it is cheaper. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to implement the idea of taking the bus. Once I've taken the bus, I'm going to assess at the end of the day whether it was sensible to take the bus. And then I'm going to determine, oh, okay, if I should make any changes or adjustment to my decision to take a bus to school from Spanish Town. Now, this is just an introductory lesson to problem solving. I want to thank you for watching. And if you are a CSEC IT student and you found this short video enlightening, I want you to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more awesome videos. In our next lesson, we will be looking at decomposing a problem.